So, we have the Sony fanboys again, of course. Of course. They're back at it again. They're back at it again. Okay. It's funny I had this dream about <laughs> Halo Infinite be destroying PlayStation 5 in terms of this PS5 exclusives, but Nintendo doesn't have anything for this year. Well, people don't understand, but Nintendo does not reveal the games until, like, you know, months before the games come out. I I think people don't understand that. You know, Nintendo will probably reveal something big for this year for toy for this year at E three, of course. And they don't they have they you have every reason right to be disappointed. Okay. Like, you know, Barricot Nine is rumored or Breath of the Wild Two. You know, well I bet both of the games both of those games were planned to be released in twenty twenty, but due to the virus and stuff, they were both delayed. And even then, Nintendo's games are still selling well. Monster Hunter Rise sold 6 million copies. Same thing with Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury sold another 5.5 million copies. That's a lot of copies for those both two games. Don't know how Pokemon Snap is going to do. Don't know how Metopia is going to do. Two. You know... You know, and of course, the, there's all course the Skyward Sword remake, the remaster, basically, you know, Dale, You know, and there's making a Skyward Sword, you know, remake, basically. Oh, no, it's not a remake, it's an HD remaster. But, this, this is the, this is your typical Sony fanboy argument. That Nintendo is dead, no one plays Nintendo. Even though Nintendo Switch has sold 82 million copies, it's okay to outsell your PS5, which is supposed to be the fastest selling console of all time. It's going to outsell the PS4, okay, you know, and, you know... You know, Ratchet and Crank is that actually has a release date, but God of War and Horizon probably would be maybe actually be delayed because Sony does not want to sort of face at E3 because Sony is that lazy. You know, they don't, they're, they're, they're that lazy to sort up at E3, but everybody else besides them and Konami are showing up at E3 like Sony's an absolute joke, basically. You know. People want to know more about Sony's games, but they don't even want to show up at E3 because they're scared of a, you know, virus. Because <laughs> that's how Sony is. But, and that's why Sony always wins. Cause, because Sony is the greatest. That's, that's, that's the Sony argument. Because Sony fanboys uh, think they always win every console generation. That's, that's, that's the problem. They think they always win every single time. Okay. And this is why people don't like, this is why people are not liking Sony fanboys. They're like, oh my god, Xbox fanboys are so stupid. But Sony fanboys are just as bad. You know, they'll, they'll complain about how they hate Nintendo or Xbox or how, they, or how their consoles will always be better because they actually have exclusives. You know, even though 95% of Sony exclusives are fucking anime games that nobody buys, basically, here. And... Like yeah, like I have, like there's that exclusive shop between the Xbox and PlayStation, and most of these exclusives were you know anime games that you know like two people bought outside of Japan, which now most of those games also come to the Switch, so Sony lost like half of their exclusives. Okay, you know, and that's basically it. Goodbye.